promised to myself I wasn't going to cry. <laughs> um, let me first say it's been such a pleasure getting to know you guys um, over the last two years, maybe some of you even as you were working on prereqs to get into the program. Um, not easy to get into the programs. You worked really hard, um, and then we put you to even more work once you got in. Um, next, I'll let you know that I'm not really good at giving speeches, except if it is regarding HIPAA or medical record documentation or why you should use a bar graph instead of a pie chart. <laughs> Or maybe even about, have you scheduled the RHIT and CCS exams yet? That'll be your test on the way out to give me the date that you've actually scheduled your exam. Um, this last year was hard in a lot of ways for everyone, um, for you as students, for your families, um, for the faculty, and for the staff here at CSN. Um, somehow, we all got through it. We all managed. Uh, we had to be flexible. Normally, we lecture you guys about how healthcare changes all the time and how you have to be flexible at work. But you learned over the last year you had to be flexible in all aspects of your life, right? <laughs> so, um, but you made it through, you persevered. Um, and so we're very, very proud of you. Um, I wanna thank your families and friends for their support and maybe you would like to thank them also for being there for you as you um, made it through these last couple of years. I also want to thank the faculty and the staff for the amazing job that they did um, over the last couple of years and especially the last year and a half getting through. You guys have a really bright future ahead. Um, if anything, like I said, you learned how to be flexible and change with everything, so that is an excellent characteristic to take going into your future healthcare profession. No matter what kind of job or where you work, that's going to serve you very, very well. Um, so as I said, I'm not really good at the whole speech thing, so that's the end of my little speech. Um, I am going to invite um, Professor Lorraine Brown to come up next. Well, as Cassie said, it has been an interesting road and an interesting journey. Um, as you know, one of my favorite things is critical thinking and creativity. And let me say, I would love for two of you to come back to me in about five years and let me know how those exercises in creativity and critical thinking worked, because I guarantee you if it's not five years, it's 10 years from now, you will find yourself in a situation where you're gonna say, hmm, now what do I do? And you'll draw on the tools that we have provided you in order to charge ahead. Each of you have done just a phenomenal job of getting yourself into the program and getting yourself graduated through the program. As Cassie said, the future is bright. The HIM field is constantly changing. Who knows what new jobs are going to surface over the next five years or so. So stay open. You may decide that you want, you're interested in coding. Coding may look very different tomorrow than it does today. That's okay. Today we are giving you, you are leaving us with a foundation for you to build upon. So go forth and build. You've chosen a field that is ever changing and one that requires lifelong learning. All of you have the capability of doing that, and I'm looking forward to seeing some exciting things that you'll be involved in in the coming future. Congratulations and job well done. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Well, I guess about three weeks ago, I uh, wrote you a note in statistics, and I said, please don't leave me, just stay one more year. And many of you wrote back and you said, ha, 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 you're so funny. <laughs> I really meant it. And the reason is, it has been so rewarding to, for me to work with you over the last two, two and a half years. It's not easy teaching the least favorite courses of pathophysiology and statistics, let me tell you. 
but I have so enjoyed working with you. You work so hard, and we met up in the lab a lot of times, although it was a long online course, and you'd say, I just don't get it, and you'd say, I'd say, yes, you do, and, and you did. But the most rewarding thing for me was about week five in statistics, and I saw this confidence I couldn't believe, and I know, they're there, they got it. You guys are gonna be fantastic in our field. And I just can't wait to see more of you. I hope you'll join our associations. You know, a lot of you don't know, I'm here because of my relationship with Rhonda Fall, who you've all had as an instructor here. She and I were in uh, the Southern Nevada Association and Nevada HEMA, we were on the board. We worked many projects together. And I was looking for a job part-time, and she suggested I come talk to Cassie because I am a teacher, and here I am. But that was through our networking and the relationship that we had built. And I encourage you to do the same. Plus, we'll all get to see you all the time. We have a lot of fun, and boy, do we have a lot of work for you to do also. <laughs> so I just want to congratulate you. I am so very proud of you. And please, 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 I hope to see much more of you. Thanks. Hi, HIT class of 2021. I'm Professor Rhonda Fall, and I think it's safe to say that I've never met you in person but I feel like I know you all from all the time we've spent together in our online classes. Remember way back when to your language of medicine class and your introduction to HIT class? Think back to how long ago those classes were for you. It certainly has been some time and time is truly a treasure. I'm speaking for me and my colleagues when I say that we are most honored that you chose to spend so much of your valuable time with us, and especially that you entrusted us to prepare you for your future career. Each of you are wonderful, unique, and rare. You have definitely made a lasting impression on us, and I hope you will remember us as fondly as we will remember you. Congratulations, class of 2021 on your impressive accomplishment. Hippa, hippa, hooray! <laughs> Okay, next I would like to introduce um, our Dean of the Ingolstadt School of Health Sciences, Ms. Janice Glasper. Good afternoon. Can you hear me? I probably should put the mask back on so I won't blow your ears off a pretty powerful voice. I just want to say congratulations. I know that this past year was a tough year. With the COVID shutdown, the loss of clinical sites. Do we have clinical? Are we going to clinical? Do, do, where am I going? For all of our programs in health sciences. But I want you to remember this, once you get out there and you start working in the field, COVID-19 is just another disease that we have to deal with as healthcare professionals. Different in that it was highly contagious. We have lots of diseases in healthcare that are highly contagious. Different in that Many individuals lost their lives. Some of you probably have family, friends, individuals that you know that lost their life to COVID. But it's still a disease process that we had to deal with as healthcare professionals. And you guys are at the front door and the back door of healthcare, coming in and checking out for a patient. Just remember that COVID was 2020, 2021. There'll be others on the horizon as life goes on. 
Remember the struggles that you had with clinical and being in the clinical site and even having a clinical site. As a healthcare professional, when the disease drops, when the pandemic falls on you, you don't run away. You have to stand up and face it. As a, you do what you have to do. You protect yourself the best that you can. We all know what PPE is. We all know what uh, infection control procedures are. You've been trained in those. So you do the best you can to protect yourself. But running away is not what you do. You saw so many healthcare professionals in your discipline as well, from the front door to the back door, nurses, uh, doctors, uh, coders, HIT, sonography, ra radiology, all standing in there, standing their ground, trying to help our patients fight this disorder. You'll be a part of the next disease process. Diseases just continue, they don't stop. So just remember what you went through so that when Cassie and the rest of your faculty are sending students your way, then you will teach them, train them that no, we're not gonna turn them away. We're not gonna say nope, we're not gonna have clinical. This is what you need to do in order to be in this environment and we're gonna fight this together. So I'm really, really proud of you. I know what you had to go through that no class has had to go through before you, but there will be many after you because diseases just continue. They don't stop. We have MRSA and ORSA and C. diff and we have COVID-19. Those are nasty. They are nasty. But when, as a healthcare professional, you can't run and hide. You protect yourself the best that you can use proper infection control, and fight from your discipline however you can. And that's what I want you to teach the next ones coming in after you, because you've been through it, you lived through it, you got through it, and you graduated. I'm really, really proud of you. Congratulations, thank you. Thank you, Janice. Next, I'd like to introduce our Interim Vice President for Academic Affairs, Mr. James McCoy. He has a few words for you. Well, good afternoon. If there's one thing that this last 16 or so months has taught us, it's that the journey is the destination. Resonate on that for a moment. The journey is the destination. And as we continue our lifelong learning, as we've been talking about the, the last 30 minutes or so, as each of these learning environments provide an opportunity for us to grow, to celebrate life, to celebrate our place in this community, recognizing that as we continue to strive to better ourselves in our education, in our career pathways, in our advancement for our families, it's the journey that's the destination. On behalf of President Zaragoza, I wish you my utmost of congratulations. I also want to thank you for entering into a field as turbulent and as unpredictable as the field of health sciences is, not only in this community, but in this world. And I feel blessed to know that when I go see my health care providers as a cancer patient in remission, that I see the product of CSN's work, the product of our faculty and our staff in you. Through my journey in every healthcare scenario I've experienced in the last few years, there hasn't been a clinic, a hospital, an ER, a medical facility, a training facility, a clinical site, a laboratory, you see where I'm going? that has not been represented by CSN graduates. Share that story proud. Let folks know where your educational roots were. We need more of you. 
We need more brave people in this community to stand up and say, I have a place in the fabric and the tapestry of the health program and the health op offerings in our valley. And the field that you chose specifically, what an exciting time to be in it, right? The technological advances that are upon us are just miraculous. And I can't wait for you to experience it. And I know as, as faculty and staff, we can't wait for you to come back, not only to continue to engage in your lifelong learning as part of this journey, but maybe one day be a colleague and serve as an educator alongside us here at CSN. Don't forget, your membership in the CSN family may have started here recently, but it continues throughout your lifelong journey. So I'll close with a quick note and a quick story. This last Friday, I had the opportunity to visit my first grader's first grade class. Virtually, of course, because, you know, it's a COVID thing. And as I jumped onto that Google Meet session, my job was to help facilitate motivation for these first graders to continue their journey in this last month of public school before they advance into their summer. And for my kindergartner, Kennedy, you know, she's learning how to read in this time. She was a kindergartner, right, when COVID-19 shut us down. And so the best way, the best thing I could possibly think to do to help inspire these young seven-year-olds was to read them a book. And the book I chose to read these youngsters was a book by Dr. Seuss called what? Oh, the places you'll go. And it's those seeds of vision, it's those seeds of planting that the potential in our lives is only limited by our own capacity and our thinking. Am I right? So I'll end with this. Oh, the places that you'll go. Congratulations, class of 2021. Okay, do you guys want some pens or something? <laughs> All right, what I will ask the graduates to do when I call your name, if you will enter from this side of the stage, you will receive your pen over here and then pause for a moment because we're gonna have your photo taken with the background, okay? All right, I think I'm going in alphabetical order. <laughs> so first, Jenny Boudet. Jenny is graduating with both HIT, the AAS degree, and the Medical Coding Certificate of Achievement. And again, normally I would grab everybody in a hug, but... Pretend. Nicole Crosby. Nicole is graduating with the HIT degree and the Medical Coding Certificate of Achievement. <laughs> Johanna Decker. Johanna is graduating with the Medical Coding Certificate of Achievement. <laughs> Janice Estacion. Janice says, why did I mark her? Janice is receiving medical coding, even though she isn't here. <laughs> um, Dakota Evans. <laughs> Dakota will be receiving the medical coding certificate of achievement.
Nicole Evan. Nicole is receiving the HIT degree and the Medical Coding Certificate of Achievement. <laughs> Edatonia Gerardo. Oh. She's receiving the HIT degree and the Medical Coding Certificate of Achievement. Talicia Graves. Alicia is receiving the HIT degree. <laughs> Michelle Green. Michelle is graduating with the HIT degree and the Medical Coding Certificate of Achievement. <laughs> Marinelle Nolis. Marinella is graduating with the Medical Coding Certificate of Achievement. <laughs> Michelle Saverino. Michelle is graduating with the HIT degree. I know Luis is not here, but I'll mention his name. He's graduating with HIT and the medical coding certificate. <laughs> Serena, you. <laughs> Serena is graduating with the HIT degree and the Medical Coding Certificate of Achievement. Okay, we have one last little thing to watch, um, so if you will direct your attention to a slideshow. Here we are on top of the stars, never thought we'd ever get this far. We live for moments like this, we come alive in moments like this. Here we are, this is a time, like a dream. Through my head, I try to capture it, but a picture can't hold what a heart is feeling. I just wanna stop the world from spinning.
But no words can say what my heart is feeling I get teary-eyed every time I watch that slideshow. <laughs> so if you notice the last slide, what did you see? An open door. <laughs> open door. It's, it's what you make of it now. Congratulations to each and every one of you on a job well done. Thank you all for coming this afternoon. Um, graduates, everyone will be exiting through this door at the front. Um, graduates, if you will stop and see us at the table. And um, again, congratulations and thanks everyone. Mm -hmm.